What you shooting? Huh? What are you shooting? So today, I'm like a kid on Christmas. I, uh, and why? Why? This would be why. So, told y'all I got some new things coming. It's not new, it's new to me. It's a brand new out the box. Springfield XD9. Nine millimeter, it's the Elite. Got the fiber optics, the you know, flared magwell, all that good stuff. Um, but it's just a gun I, I wanted for a while and never really got, I don't know why, but just, you know, finally got it. But comes with a bunch of nice things. You know, of course the little decals are gonna go on something. Uh, registry for warranties, instruction manual. Um, got some different base plates for the mags. We got the extended ones, extra grips. Well, uh, kind of a nice little thing in the little spiffy little bag. But, you know, empty mag, clear chamber. So I got the little, like I said, the flared magwell and the little extended mag um, flare at the end too. Let's give it that elite look. But the real reason I am so excited about this is because what came out of this box, everybody's got one of these for a Glock. Not everybody. I want to be different. So... Did the Springfield 9 with this bad boy. I'll throw in a little sped up version of me putting it together. Extra attachments. It's got the flashlight for one, super bright. Even though it's only like 450 lumens, it's not the brightest, but it's, it's bright. Um, nice little laser, green, green laser. Uh, the glass breaker extension on there. These iron sights, um, I just slapped them on there. There's some iron sights I had laying around. Cause uh, this one didn't come with the iron sights. I didn't. Uh, I think I got the elite package, but uh, was missing the the pop up sight. So I probably either I'm getting a red dot. So I may either just not do any sights, no pop ups or anything. Uh, Cause it is just a, a drop in for the uh, sig, and it's itself is a pretty nice deal. Oh uh, yeah, then I got the 50 round Pro Mag drone. Uh, we'll get to that too. Um, but it comes with uh, different charging handles for the uh, for it to. It, it's supposed to fit, I think, four different types of uh, spring fields. The same way the Glocks, uh, it'll fit like every Glock ever made. Um, so, but it's a cool little deal. It's got the mag release for the extended mag holder. It's just a quick little drop in. Flip the hard. So this is why I was 
excited for it. Just snaps in. Drop this locking in on the back. And you're in there. You're good to go. Empty, empty. Got that in there. And, and that one's in there. So it's a pretty, pretty good look. I say I like it. So yeah, this is just a new, new little toy. Like I said, I want to be different. Um, did the Springfield instead of doing the Glock like everybody else is, and um, CAA offers a short brace now, and then they offer a tack uh, sling too. Uh, just waiting for the, uh, the ATF whole deal. Um, they started making that option, but I actually do prefer the short brace um, option over the uh, the long brace. But it's easy to you know you take it down or whatever. But um, it's easy to swap them out. So I can go tax lean. I can go for the extended one. Uh, but I'm probably gonna keep it short. I like I like the feel of it. Um, but you're probably wondering why I didn't drop the 50 round in there and just put the mag in the mag holder. That's because the mag does fit in the mag holder. It's in there. But the 50 round drum I got does not fit the back end. The little mag flare is preventing it from locking in. So I'm either going to... Cause this got a, a flare on it too, so I can either file that flare down, or um, I may be able to take the flare off with changing out the the back grips or whatever. But um, in the meantime, I just gotta be careful because I got the Elite model, and um, this is the packaging from the drum. It's the Springfield XD9. It didn't specifically say um, Elite. So that's my fault, um, but we'll, uh, we're gonna definitely, I'm gonna test this at the range, in and out of the uh, the mechanism, and, and I'm gonna test it in and out of the mechanism. You know, gotta do the first run just without it, just to make sure the gun itself is fine, but it's a brand new gun. Um, fresh out the box, I just dropped a little oil on it and everything just to make sure everything's going to run smooth. Uh, probably, I've been having trouble with mags, so I'll probably like load, half load the mags because these are uh, 18 round mags that come with them on the spring fields. So I may do find an extended on like a 30 round or something like that because uh, you know everybody's got to have the, the mag hanging out. And another I don't know what you would call it, this problem I got right now. I bought a brass catcher for it that it kind of fits on there, but I think it's the wrong generation because um, it doesn't have any spots to like lock it on. So it'll, it kind of slides in there, but I have to physically hold it. If I let it go, it's going to fall. But I wanted to have a brass catcher on it too, just because. But um, So I may have to play around with it or find a, a different one or whatever, but um but yeah this is just the unboxing of my new springfield and my micro caa conversion kit for the springfield and not the glock but yeah we're definitely gonna go to the range with it and we're gonna have some fun all right
like I said, kid and can, so I'm happy, happy, happy. So, first trip to the range with the uh, Springfield XD9 uh, Elite in the CAA uh, micro conversion kit. All smiles, all smiles. The uh, iron sights on this thing, uh, they're crazy. I, I probably won't put the red dot on there, not too soon. I mean, eventually, I probably will, but um, not in a rush now. Because, like, I had some of my best work um, on this thing. Like, some of my best grouping. Um, this thing is super, super stable. Uh, like I said, I, I like the shorter brace, the feel of it and everything. So, obviously, it's working for me. Um... But yeah, everything is cool. Like the glass breaker, uh, like the look of it. I may, I don't think I, yeah, I haven't shot it without it. So maybe I shoot it without it, just play around with it some more. But, um, but yeah, this thing is everything I expected it to be. Easy drop in, drop out. The Springfield XD itself, good gun, smooth gun, everything I expected. Um, um, is I'm happy. I'm happy. So, you know, um, so just let everybody know that, you know, they do make these conversion kits for other guns besides Glock. Uh, not a not a Glock hater or anything, but just like, you know, I always want to be different. Like, you know, I, I call the Glock like the Honda Civic of the gun world. Like, they, they make a lot of stuff for them. They make a lot of stuff for Glocks. But... You know, you make a lot of stuff on Honda Civic. You, know, you can put all type of body kits on them and, you know, uh, nitrous and whatever you want to do with them. Um, but, um, you know, try something different sometimes. Like, stop being a follower all the time, you know, just because, you know, everybody's got this or that, whatever. You know, try something different. You might surprise yourself. You might like it. it might work even better. So, my CAA micro conversion kit for my Springfield XD is a win. Um... One thing though, with the 50 round drum, like I said, I had to do some shaving on it. Uh, this is what I do for you guys. I, I risk my fingers, um, <laughs> had to use my circular saw to knock off like a big chunk of it and then just uh, sanded it, get it as smooth as I could. But the end result is, it fits, fits in there. I took the mag well flare off to uh, uh, the pistol, really doesn't, empty really doesn't make too big a difference um just on the pistol end of it too but but yeah definitely got that to fit with the drum it works as you see and we are on and popping so yeah this is gonna be um something that i, I just take out just to have fun with at the range here and there but um yeah, cool little thing. Like I said, you always see them for the Glock, but I haven't seen anybody personally with a Springfield one, and very few uh, videos of anybody with the Springfield one. And they make them for the Smith and Wesson too, I believe. Uh, so you know, you don't have to go out and buy the little carbon copy gun that everybody else has. You can get other things, and you can still get nice kits and nice mods and everything for those too. So I appreciate everybody for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, just keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. And we're out. You know, for a moment, I originally thought, yeah, he'll eventually run out. And then I looked over and saw the drum right here. <laughs> like that. No, I'll be here for a